Hey guys, I'm Big Leo from Bars and Melody. Hello. Hello. Yo. So you guys want me to do an interview with Leo. I think I posted on my story or something. I think I got like a big message from you guys. So here's Leo. Hey, what's up? What's up? So, Let's go. All right. So <laughs> first question is, who inspired you to rap? Oh, this is actually quite funny. So yeah. I think I was like 10. No, I think I was like nine. And like I'd always been listening to like uh old school rap music because that's what um I was like brought up listening to for like my parents and like UK garage. Yeah. Um so I loved like fast rap and like MCs and stuff. <laughs> um and then it got to a point where I was like listening to so much of this rap and I was like, oh I wanna learn something that proves I can rap as well. Yeah. So I learned uh I learned how to rap Give Me Some More by Buster Rhymes <laughs> when I was like <laughs> Yeah. And um you know I I never thought like oh I'm gonna be a rapper or this. I just really wanted to become good at rapping. Mm. I just loved it. I just thought it was so cool. Um and then obviously you know, before that, I was writing, like, poems and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, writing raps and poem writing kind of kind of helped me to structure together songs and stuff. And all my poems I did write before, I would go back and convert them into raps. Yeah. My next question is, uh, do you have a favorite rapper? Ooh. Ooh, these are hard questions. I would say that... Do you know what? I actually don't have a favorite rapper. Oh, I used to. Yeah. I used to have a favorite rapper, but now, like, I don't know. There's no one really doing it like they were for me when, when I was listening to people like that. I don't really listen to pe other people anymore. I only oh, listen okay. to my. Music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my next question is: the first time you rap, was it difficult for you at the start? One hundred percent, very hard. Uh, so obviously I was I was living in Wales growing up, raised in Wales. I had a Welsh accent and it was really strong. Yeah. So um, like my Welsh accent was really hard to like get around, like trying to learn how to rap. And over the years, it's been like quite. It was a, it was a like a hard stepping stone for me was to like, know what my style is, what my tone is, and it's yeah. changed so much over the years. I think I finally found it um like a couple of years ago so um i've been that's what i mean i've been really comfortable in music for the past three to four years but like before that the previous eight years like i wasn't even that comfy i i couldn't yeah. really even rap that well i just love telling stories yeah um my next question is when you guys like perform on stage and stuff like you and charlie do you guys forget your lyrics sometimes all the time, well, mainly me. I don't think Charlie forgets his lyrics much, but the amount of times I've forgotten my lyrics, it's just too many. Like, yeah, <laughs> I think every tour I forget, like, at least four or five times per tour. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, I, I guess it's, like, so timing, like, uh, when you, like, rap and stuff, like, sometimes it's just, like, hard to, like, remember your lyrics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's a bunch of everything, you know, like yeah. a song I've just done. Um, you know, I like to work like say I I was working on like songs before that with like flows and like slowly building them, yeah. like they always change because I like integrate them flows then into the new track, uh, if it works and blah blah blah. So like a lot of the time I'll sing lyrics that no one else has heard, but it was the old flows that I was working on like yeah. when I first started working on the song so like people are like what the hell is he going on about but that was like my original flow for that yeah that that piece of rap and uh yeah I just I just forget yeah <laughs> um my next question is was it weird being the bathtub for the filled with milk and cereal during the own race music video <laughs> so I have, I have a, a fact actually so I wasn't actually like sat in like all milk. 
because I yeah. thought that was disgusting. I don't know. Yeah. I just thought so. It was like ninety five percent water, and then literally like one carton of milk, like one. Yeah, just to make it like look like milk, but it really wasn't. Yeah. And then uh, and then obviously I sat in it. You know, it just it just felt like I was in a bath. But I just didn't like how like all the Cheerios were sticking or whatever they were were like sticking to me all yeah. over my. You know, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it yeah. was quite. Fun. <laughs> Did did that took a lot a long time like just to like clean yourself and then clean the bathtub the, the whole house. Yeah, the whole house house needed a deep clean after that. I think we got some cleaners in because it was too much. It yeah. was too much. I mean, like there was milk and cereal all over that house. Yeah. All right. Um. My next question is, what's your favorite moments on tour? So hard. These questions are so hard. Uh, so so uh, many great moments about tour. So many. Yeah. Um, I don't even know, man. A couple <laughs> of like my favorite memories yeah. were like being like nineteen, like touring like Germany or something. Yeah. Good food. We're like friends and family. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, it was just lit, bro. Like, that's what I mean. I've got so many specific memories, mm. but like, there's a certain time where I was touring that I look back to and I'm like, yeah, I would love to go back to that tour. Yeah. Or like, maybe when, maybe like the start of 2019, where, yeah, 2019 was a good year, where we did mm. Japan. That was sick. Um, Yeah, there's loads of stuff. But yeah. just I just can't <laughs> remember any of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um my next question is do you miss Glasgow? Glasgow? I uh, yeah, uh somewhere in the UK, one of my friends asking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know I know Glasgow. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, I mean it's a it's a it's a sick place. I love it there. So much fun. So every time I go play a concert in Glasgow, always go out afterwards. It's such a sick city, so sick. Yeah. Alright. Uh, my next question is: Uh, what's your favorite album you and Charlie made? It one that we haven't released yet. Ooh. We've got about like three albums worth of, like we got three albums that we haven't released, and like hundreds of songs as well. But yeah. there's like this one album we've like done that we haven't released. It's it's so good, bro. Mm. Yeah, I wish we could drop it, but we just we th- we think it's too good. That's the problem. Do you know when you've got something and you're like, yeah, nah, that's too good. They ain't ready for that yet. This is yeah, <laughs> like, like you guys must be busy like working on our albums so hard, like to, and stuff. <laughs> constantly, bro. Constantly. Yeah. Even last night, I was making music. You know. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff coming. Sweet. Um. My next question is, as your voice change over the years, like when you go through like puberty change and stuff, uh, does it does it get harder to rap more well, like when you uh your voice change and stuff? Yeah, um, before puberty, I was like I had an accent, super high voice, like a bit squeaky, like like everyone sounds before puberty. Yeah. And then I hit puberty and like within that year, so much of my life changed. Like I was literally living in Lo- in London. I was literally like, I didn't have time for myself at that point. Um, yeah. So I was around people constantly. Like my accent was changing. My voice was changing. Like the deepness of, of it was changing. So much was changing. And yeah. I was like, I can't do my old songs anymore because I don't sound like that. I'm not that high pitched. I need to like try and figure out what to do. Yeah. But like, I don't know. My voice, I've learned a lot about my voice. I've got very comfortable with my voice. And yeah. when I was younger, I used to put on like a bit of an American accent to like hide my accent. Yeah. But then I realized I, I like my accent. You know, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I've grown over the years to love it. And I, uh, it's definitely got harder to do some older songs because, you know, even with my accent now, some words don't rhyme the way I used to rhyme words. Like, 
all this stuff. Yeah. Um, but when I go to write new stuff now, like newer material, and I'm not going back to old stuff, it's ten times better, you know, because yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable. It's more authentic. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm just a lot better now. So yeah, I th- it was hard. You know, it's hard going through voice change as well because I didn't want to change my voice halfway through, and then be like, oh, Leo, you're not genuine to you anymore. But I kind of mm. realized that was who I who I am, and that's what I wanted to be. So. My last question for you, Leo, is do you like spicy food? I love spicy food. Any spice, yeah. give it to me. Anything, mm-hmm. literally, there isn't a spice in the world I wouldn't try. Have you seen that vlog where I put like 20 spicy oh, sauces yeah. on? Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Like, I love that. I do that every day. I, that's what I do for breakfast. <laughs> Oh yeah, because I I remember like seeing you, Charlie did that spicy like uh one with the chicken nugget and stuff, and then you just just pour like sauce, and then like I could tell you it was burning hot for you. Bro, it was more than burning hot, bro. <laughs> I was about to die. Oh shit! It was it was a struggle. Hmm. It was a struggle. Nah, but I've had really hot stuff over my life. Yeah. Uh, I've always, I've always like been like since I was like thirteen. Yeah. I've been the guy to, you know, so is Charlie, where this is the guys to get like extra hot sauce from every single chicken shop or like Nando's or whatever. Yeah. Like extra hot all the way. And yeah. no one else can handle it. But like, I'm so accustomed to spice now. There isn't much spice that can like put me on my ass. <laughs> oh gosh. Spicy is like the worst part. Like, um, I can tell like one of the blocks that um, you were drinking milk and stuff and then. Charlie was like Charlie was like jealous like how you how you got the milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the milk helped a lot. Yeah, I can't lie. It helped a lot. Uh, well, uh, that's been much it for the interview. Thank you, Leo, for answering my questions. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, Gary Gar, best interviewer out here. Let's go, baby. <laughs>